What's good guys, welcome back to another episode of GNG News. So today I have gone and paid £4.49 to have access to Pokemon Bank for 365 days, which is a year. So what is Pokemon Bank? Pokemon Bank is a service that lets you transfer Pokemon from older Pokemon games to uh, the newest DS line Pokemon games, which are Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon or Sun and Moon. So... The first time that you use this after obviously you put in your details, pay the £4.49, you give us a little message that comes up and says, I've got a present for you to help celebrate the first time of you using Pokemon Bank. For you, here are a hundred Pokemon miles. Did you know that more than did you know that more Pokemon you store in the Poker Bank, the more Poker Miles you'll earn? You can receive Poker Miles or you can exchange your Poker Miles for battle points. Please note that in Pokemon Sun, Pokemon Moon, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, you can only receive battle points, not Poker Miles. Collecting either from Poker Link, which you'll find on the title screen of Pokemon X, Pokemon Y, Pokemon Omega Ruby, and Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. In Pokemon Sun and Moon, Pokemon Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, collect battle points from mystery gift on the title screen which would you like or which would you rather so i would rather have the battle points i'll send any little gifts like this to your game via poker link and don't forget to save afterwards now enjoy using pokemon bank so this is pokemon bank as you can see down here shout out to bear bear because most of these pokemon were sent by him so obviously I'm going to start to transfer these bad boys into my newer game because I have, well, a lot of these Pokemon I don't have, obviously, into uh, my newer game. As you can see, just transfer it there, drop it in. So I'm going to try and do as many as I can possibly remember that I need. Um, this will help you out as well if you're tr essentially trying to fill a Pokedex and um, you know that you have them Pokemon that you need for your new Pokedex in a previous game, you can do this, obviously. Um, people have asked me, is it worth having? I would say it's worth having because it makes things a lot easier for you if you're essentially trying to complete a Pokedex or you want to move your like competitive fighting Pokemon into your newer game and it's not a lot of money that they're essentially charging you to do this so I do think that it is worth um, obviously doing and it tells you as well what game that they're from as you can see down there it says Alpha Sapphire so that's pretty cool so yeah I'm gonna try and fill this box up and then um, see if we can trade ourselves some uh, Pokemon if you guys like this video, don't forget to leave a like on this video. Share it with your friends if you want other people to see this. Leave a comment in the comment section down below if there's anything you want me to do in the next episode of GNG News, and I will be happy to oblige. But I thought I'd just show you that obviously you get a free gift for the very first time that you download Pokemon Bank. And just essentially how you use it, because I've seen a lot of videos on the internet um, that I watch to try and work out how to use it, and not many of them were very detailed on how exactly to use Pokemon Bank how much it costs so I thought I'd make my own little video just to try and help you out if the quality is bad I'm very sorry guys I am using my phone and I am half asleep right now okay what else do we need Articuno yes you are coming with us And I believe you can do this on Pokemon X, Y, Alpha Sapphire, obviously Omega Ruby, um, Sun, and Moon. That just helps you guys out if you um, essentially want to get more Pokemon or you want to acquire older Pokemon that you have in your game for your new game. This is all you got to do. Also as well guys, I should be buying some Pokemon packs uh, on the Friday coming, so I'll do a little unboxing session for you lot. I'll be honest, I could have got some of the Detective Pikachu packs uh, the other day when I was in town, but I just really couldn't be bothered. Plus I've seen people selling them on eBay for like 5-6 quid, so they're not too expensive. Okay, let's move this Eevee. 
Who else do we need? We'll take Flygon. But this will make things a lot easier for me because what I was doing, as you guys had seen, I was buying um, pre-owned Pokemon games because they normally have like a save file on them with um, obviously that person's Pokemon that they have acquired. And what I was doing was I was literally just giving them away to you guys for free. Because I just wanted to do something nice and I just wanted to help you out and I didn't really want to give... I didn't want to delete someone's save file when I knew that they had obviously put a lot of time and effort into obviously making that save file. But what I'm eventually going to do is transfer everything into the bank and then transfer it all to my other game, which is... Uh, Pokemon Moon currently just because I want to essentially just make my Pokedex a bit stronger by adding in as many Pokemon that I know that I have into the game just makes things easier for me plus I'm a completionist I like having a full Pokedex I don't like having like a 56% Pokedex Hmm, let's see. Don't think there's that many that can fit in this box now. Well, probably about five or six more. Uh, let's just try. Probably four more I can get in this box now. Take this Pikachu. Oh no, can't deposit that one because it's a special. Okay, uh, Axe 2, we will take Axe 2. We will take Farfetch'd. Can we take Kyogre? Yes, we can. And there's one more that will let us do, so we'll go with uh, Duskull. Okay, so that should essentially be everything. So let's just start. So we're going to... No, I don't want to save and quit. Hmm. Would you like to save and quit? Okay. Saving the data and sending it to the server. Do not turn off the power. So I am now essentially transferring all these Pokemon that I just did into my bank. So if I go back into this now... Once it loads up. Welcome to Pokebank. Learn about Pokebank. Download Transporter. View your support ID number. Okay, so we don't need that. We need to go here. Uh, please choose the Pokemon title you would like to use with Pokemon Bank. So this is the one I would like to use with. So it should show that them Pokemon are now in my Pokemon Bank. So it says GMG News Pokemon Link ID number is full. Please receive the previous present via Pokemon Link in your game. Even though a new present is waiting for you, you won't be able to receive it at this time. Do you still want to go ahead and use Pokemon Bank? Yes, I do. Okay, so as you can see, I have a load of Pokemon that are now in Pokemon Bank. So I'm going to pause this very quickly and I'm going to load up my game, my other game. And we're going to see if we're able to transfer them across. So I'll be back in two seconds. 
What's good guys, so I've just transferred all my Pokemon from Alpha Sapphire onto the Pokemon Bank. And after doing this, I've just gone back into Pokemon Bank and it's come up and said, I've got a special present for you to thank you for your constant use of Pokemon Bank. Here is an Oranguru. Take care, take good care of it, okay? So this was the free gift that I was on about that you could get for Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, Sun or Moon, which was an Oranguru or a Pasmium with a hidden ability. So here it is, here is Pasmian, take good care of it as well. I've sent the I sent the gift as a mystery gift, and don't forget to save later. Now enjoy using Pokemon Bank. So we just got two free Pokemon, completely for nothing. So this is our box. So we now need to start transferring these Pokemon over. So all you so this is Alpha Sapphire. So all I gotta do is move everything from Alpha Sapphire down into here. So as you can see, move them down. That one goes there. And this is all we're pretty much going to do, guys. So I'm just going to move a few of them and then I'll pause this video and unpause it when I have obviously put everyone into the, the box that they should be going into. And then I will just send them all across. But it is a very easy and simple process. I wish I did this a very long time ago. Shout out to Bear Bear. He was the person who um, informed me about uh, Pokemon Bank a very long time ago. And I've just now obviously finally got round to essentially using it. So I am just going to try and send as well, send everything that I can. I could send every Pokemon bar one Pokemon, which was um, not an event Pokemon, but it was a Pokemon that you get as part of like the mainline story for Alpha, Sapphire and Omega Ruby, which is uh, Pikachu in its um, costume. That was the only Pokemon it would not let me send. Otherwise, every other Pokemon I was able to send, including the legendary Pokemon which I caught in Alpha Sapphire, which was obviously Kyogre. So I'm just going to pause this, and I will unpause this once I have put every single Pokemon into um, this box, which is obviously for Pokemon Moon. So I'll be back in two seconds. So guys, as you can now see in my bank, there is nothing now in my bank. Because I have just transferred all of my save Pokemon from Pokemon Alpha Sapphire into Pokemon Moon. As you can see here, I think I had 9 or 10 boxes that are full. Now I have quite a few. So I now have 15 full, well yeah, basically 15 full boxes of Pokemon that I have now transferred to Pokemon Moon. It was a very easy and very simple process to do. I'm glad that I have now done that because it is a weight off my mind. So without further ado, we're going to quit Pokemon Bank. And uh, what we're then going to do is I'm going to load up Pokemon Moon just to prove to you guys that they have gone over into Pokemon Moon. And it just goes to show how easy the, this process is of transferring Pokemon from one game into another. It's not very hard to do guys. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to press back. And now we want to go to Pokemon Moon, which should be just by here. So I'm going to load up Pokemon Moon and we're going to go to our closest Pokemon Center and see what we get. Also, we're going to check our uh, mystery gift as well. Very sorry if the quality of this video gets worse. I am currently using my phone on like 10% battery right now. So it says, there's a gift that you have not yet received. Please start the game and pick up your gift from the delivery man in the Pokemon Center. So that's pretty cool. So, let's start the game. Get our mystery gift. Good night, you must be GMG News. I've got two mystery gifts here with your name on them. Here you are, it looks like I have a Pokemon to give you. Would you like to take it off my hands? It looks like you don't have any space right now. Okay, so that's a perfect time for us to go and check our box. Make sure that all our Pokemon have uh, transferred. So 
So yeah, we have um, all of our Pokemon. They have all transferred over. So that I'm very happy with that. So I need to move one, well, remove one Pokemon for a second in order to receive my free Pokemon. So we're going to remove two, just to make sure, because I should have an Oranguru and a Pasmian. And like I said, you can receive these completely for free. You just need to make sure that you obviously have a um, have the Pokemon Bank app and you obviously have an account. It costs £4.49 a year, so it's not very expensive. I've got two mystery gifts here with your name on them. Here you are. Okay, would you like to take them off my hands? So that is how you receive Oranguru. So that's the very first gift. And another gift, which is a Pasmian. These both have hidden abilities as well, which they don't normally have. The reason why they're giving away Pokemon is because obviously the new Pokemon game that is coming out in November. Pokemon always do this beforehand to like hype up their audience. So we've got Pasmian, which is a Pokemon that we need for the Pokedex. So that's all good. Which is a teamwork Pokemon. So no, we will not give him a nickname because I don't give my Pokemon nicknames because they are weapons, they are not friends. And uh, yeah, as you can see, very, very easy to essentially transfer your Pokemon from one game to another. So I have obviously transferred Pokemon from Pokemon Alpha Sapphire now into Pokemon Moon. And um, thank you once again for watching another episode of GNG News. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on them post notifications if you haven't done already. Like this video if you think it deserves a like. Share it with your friends if you want other people to see this. Leave a comment in the comment section down below if there's anything you want me to do in the next episode of GNG News. And I will catch up with you all soon, guys. So all you have to do is have Pokemon Bank on your 2DS, 3DS, 3DS XL or your 2DS XL. Obviously pay for your yearly subscription membership, which is £4.49 if you're in the UK. I believe it is £4.99 if you are in America. And receive your free legendary Pokemon. I hope this video has been helpful. If it has helped you out, leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on post notifications if you haven't done already. And um, I will see you all in the next episode of GMG News. So that was a very brief, quick tutorial of how to transfer Pokemon in Pokemon Bank from Alpha Sapphire to Pokemon Moon. And the same procedure will work with um, Omega Ruby, X, Y, Sun, Moon, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Thank you for watching. I've been GNG News. I'll see you in the next video.